Hello everyone, Dr. Jack Wolfson, board certified cardiologist at Natural Heart Doctor. We're doing a special Facebook Live, YouTube Live with Ian Kerouac from Lumi Island Wild Salmon Seafood. Ian, thanks for coming on. Hi, Dr. Wolfson. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's great to have you on. I appreciate it. And listen, for those of you who don't know Ian and his company, we're going to get all into that, but I do want to give Ian a little bit of slack. Ian is a tremendous fisherman and purveyor of some of the best seafood in the entire world, but what he is not is an expert at social media and being interviewed uh, live uh, in front of so many people. And, uh, and again, it's not like I'm some uh, uh, TV star uh, or internet sensation either. Hey, listen, we're all just trying to give you the best health information in the world so you get your best health uh, outcomes. And again, food is medicine. Let medicine be thy food. Let food be thy medicine. And if you've listened to me before, you know that I talk about seafood being the number one healthiest food in the world when done appropriately. And that's why we have teamed up with Ian at Lumi Island. So again, Ian, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about how you got interested in, uh, in the seafood industry. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I would have never thought I would be in the seafood industry uh, or a commercial fisherman myself, uh, long ways away from my uh, uh, business background. Uh, but 20 years ago, uh, I was sailing by uh, a small island and discovered this micro fishery called reef netting. And um, it was just making a change. A handful of fishers uh, involved in that were deciding that they didn't want uh, their prized catch going to the uh, global conglomerates uh, and into the commodity market. It was special. It was different. And from there, Lummi Island Wild was born, uh, connecting people who wanted really the highest quality, but also sourced truly sustainable. And uh, ultra uh, reef netting is every bit of that ultra sustainable uh, fishery. So, uh, you know, and for everyone listening, we're going to have a special code that uh, Ian and Lummi have actually uh, promised to our people at Natural Heart Doctor. And the code is absolutely, you're going to love the offer actually that Ian and his team came up with. It's really, really spectacular to get you introduced to his company, make you fully confident that you are getting some of the best seafood uh, in the entire world. Ian, do me a favor, break down uh, uh, reef netting, uh, you know, kind of talk about how, how are most salmon, wild salmon caught? I mean, certainly we'll talk about farm raised versus wild salmon. But you mentioned reef netting. Again, how are most salmon caught? And then what is reef netting and how they do it over at uh, Lummi Island? Yeah, there's a few different commercial fishing types that are responsible for most of the catch here in the U.S. And the distinction around reef netting is our fish are caught alive. They're not gilled uh, in a net. And I, I try and focus on the highlights of our fishery versus putting other uh, U.S. fisheries down. But uh, to call reef netting sustainable doesn't really do it justice. It's sustainable light years beyond uh, anybody using that word. I think uh, it's the only uh, commercial fishery that's solar powered. Uh, we release all bycatch uh, unharmed. Our reward in that case is seeing it swim away to spawn another day. Uh, and for that reason, fisheries managers love us. Um, we can, uh, our net comes up underneath the fish and gently spills them to our outside boat. And that's where we would sort non-targeted species unharmed or the fish we are keeping, we pick up one by one, put them immediately on slush ice so we can custom process for everybody fast. All right, listen, my friend, I'm not gonna let you off the hook to be politically correct. I'm gonna want, I, I need, and my, my listeners need to know what the problem is again with conventional salmon, uh, salmon uh, fishing. Why is it not sustainable? Why is it uh, uh, not ethically uh, appropriate either? Yeah, take reef netting, for example. We send every fish over to the other side with intention. That may seem a little odd. I mean, I talk about releasing a non-targeted fish. Other industries measure that number. Fish they kill unintentionally in metric 
tons, in metric tons. I can reach out to my crew on the water from last year or any of the reef net fleet. And if they killed a non-targeted species, which would be a, a mixed stock, uh, salmon, swimming, why we were targeting uh, one species, they would still remember it. In the case of micro, remember it with great guilt. So it, it's hardly uh, comparable at all. Okay. So, I mean, so the reef net, is that, I mean, again, is that where you're, you're bringing the net up, kind of upwards and catching them all that way, obviously, as opposed to, you know what, I mean, because I, I, obviously, I went fishing many times as a child, and either you got the line and you're throwing, the, you know, the rod and the reel out there, or again, uh, uh, if you're out in the open waters, we called it uh, uh, trolling, where again, like your lines are out there and you would hook on uh, the fish. Uh, and again, I would assume that, again, like big fishers, like the, you know, what the ones that would supply Costco or, or the big box grocers or even big box, you know, online, again, you know, just trying to get our people to understand how special, you know, it is. And I think also too, is that they're probably, I don't know, there probably is some sense of the hormones released by that animal when it senses it's in danger or it's in pain. And maybe the process is just a little bit better when you're doing it through reef netting. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we have found that that difference uh, in flavor, you take a fish that has died struggling trying to get out of a net versus one that is put intentionally and with respect on over to the other side uh, and you know, that adrenaline, that better lactic acid, that all comes through in the flavor. And when you do it right, what you end up with is something not only that you can feel great about uh, eating, uh, it tastes spectacular. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and I think too, I mean, obviously, you know, in, in talking to you as you and I have talked, uh, you know, several times before, and you've talked with Dr. Heather, who's the most critical of all people as far as making sure that things are done right. But also, you know, with that intention and recognizing that each salmon is a living uh, thing and to treat it with respect and to understand that humans, again, uh, 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 consume and survive off of things that were once living and now they no longer are. And it's just the way Mother Nature, it's just the way humans have been since the dawn of human existence, you know, by our creator, who, again, this, you know, this is just the way that we are supposed to eat and we're designed to eat. And again, seafood is the healthiest food on the planet when done right. People with the highest levels of omega-3s have the lowest risk of everything. You talk about uh, coronary artery disease, heart attacks, strokes, cancer, brain disease, COVID, no matter what it is, people have the highest levels of omega-3 when done naturally. If you know me, I'm not a huge fish oil uh, uh, pusher. What I am is a pusher of eating the best and most sustainable uh, seafood in the world. And again, this is where Ian and, and Lummi Island uh, come in, come into play. Talk uh, uh, real quick again, like the, the, the total extreme, which pr pretty much everybody knows would be the incorrect way, but tell us about uh, uh, farm-raised salmon, your knowledge about farm-raised compared to what you guys are doing out again uh, in the Pacific Northwest. I, I've got nothing good to say about farm-raised. Uh, in, in my opinion, that uh, is going the wrong direction in food. We, uh, here in the Pacific Northwest, there are a couple of global conglomerates doing large net pen fisheries, and there was an escaped Atlantic salmon disaster out here. And what we witnessed were the most disgusting, uh, unnatural fish uh, that normally you wouldn't see in that state, but hooked noses, yellowing, diseased, uh, and they had escaped. They had broken out of a farmed net pen. Um, and this was the first time I had come face to face with seeing that. It's one thing to see them uh, filleted in a grocery store case. It's another to see these diseased fish uh, swimming around. Um, you know, all the things you hear about loaded with the antibiotics to maintain those food densities um, and uh, not something I would ever uh, want to put in my body nor recommend anybody uh, put in ours. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, most certainly. And, you know, and again, and it's like when people, you know, when people talk about, uh, uh, you know, they get certain seafoods, 
And oh, I get wild salmon, for example, at Costco, for example, and other places like that. It's just not the same as what we're talking about from Lummi Island. We're talking about, it's, it's just not, all wild salmon is very far from the same, how, it, how it's caught, how it's processed, uh, how it's handled, everything is, is, is totally different. It's kind of like our organic beetroot powder. So a lot of people can say, well, we get beetroot powder from, you know, from this place or that place. Again, those, I could bash those beetroot powders. They're, they're loaded with mold. And when they're found that they have mold, they have a lot of things added to kill the mold, uh, including you know, irradiation and chlorine added to it. Now the mold mycotoxins are still there, but it's still organic beetroot powder. Again, ours, the company that we used to manufacture ours, they rejected four batches before they came up with ours. The point is, again, all organic is not equal. All wild is not equal. And again, when, you, when we met uh, you, Ian, at, and talking about the fish and about the way you do things, it was just it was just in perfect alignment with us. Hey, listen, when you're on uh, live right now, feel free to ask questions. You have questions for me. Do you have questions for Ian? Uh, anything about how to... Uh, we can ask uh, and answer questions about cooking seafood, preparing seafood. For me, Ian, it's super simple. So, you know, again, I'll just get like that salmon and I'll just, you know, uh, maybe I'll coat it in olive oil or some kind of uh, ghee or another cooking uh, fat, you know, lard, beef tallow, lamb tallow, whatever it may be, coconut oil, if you want to do that. Uh, put, you know, some herbs and spices on there, a little bit of sea salt, and just put it in the oven. It doesn't have to be any grand uh, uh, recipe. How is your favorite way to eat uh, eat the salmon? My recommendation for folks starting with Lummi Island wild salmon is to keep it simple. Uh, uh, salmon can handle aggressive salt if your diet allows it, but short of that, a little salt, a little pepper, don't bury it in anything. If you haven't had the opportunity to taste how wild salmon can truly, uh, that flavor can come through, keep it simple. Uh, just try it essentially plain, a little salt, a little pe pepper uh, on a baking sheet and in the oven or on the grill, uh, and it will be spectacular. And I want to add, when we talk about our Lummi Island Wild's focus around being truly sustainable, yes, but also around the quality. And I think quality is another word that can be subject to greenwashing. What does that mean? The same way, what does sustainability mean? Well, when we talk about quality at Lummi Island Wild, what we're primarily focusing on is fat and omega-3 content. And as an example of not all wild fish uh, being created equal, when you're out there in uh, the commodity market, perhaps looking at a Bristol Bay sockeye, that might be a 9% fat content and omega content. Compare that to a Lummi Island wild reef net sockeye, which is at a chart topping 15% as measured by lab results. Uh, it's incredible. So, you know, not only is that great for you, uh, but it tastes spectacular. Again, part of the reason I recommend uh, a simple preparation, especially when you're getting uh, started with Lummi Island Wild Seafood. So we put the, the offer codes into the chat box. So if you're interested, again, in ordering from Ian and, and Lummi Island Seafood, on your first order, Ian and his company, this is just unheard of at the value of what this is. You get the uh, three five ounce wild king salmon portions. I'm salivating already. I've not eaten today and it's early and I'm just, I'm salivating. And again, there's what would be better than king salmon for breakfast? Three five ounce portions, which is a $45 value with any purchase from Lummi Island right now. Again, just to introduce you to the best seafood in the world. And this is just an exciting offer again to be able to team up with you, Ian. We're so appreciative. What um, uh, now my thing that not a lot of people know of, because most people know, of course, that salmon is healthy. They know and, and the omega free content, as you mentioned, that's the the super fuel inside of, of that salmon for sure. But one of my favorite things and what we feed to our, our children, to our 16 month old is the wild salmon roe. And I love the taste of the salmon roe. When you think about this again, it's these, these salmon roe of course are the, are the salmon eggs. And this is the cocoon for the fish. This 
contains everything that a fish needs to grow. I mean, it's all inside of there. How can that not be the healthiest food? How can you compare that to any almonds or oatmeal or kale or whatever you concept would be some of the healthiest foods? It absolutely is not even in the same conversation to talk about uh, those foods versus uh, salmon roe. So again, tell us, uh, tell us, uh, tell us about salmon roe and, and how does, how, you know, obviously, how, how do you get that out of the fish? Yeah, absolutely. So I would say uh, wild salmon is as close to medicine as food can get. And when you take that and start looking at the row, you've gone to a whole new level of concentrated energy. And there's study after study uh, focusing to brain health uh, and heart function uh, behind row. And it's just a powerhouse of concentrated uh, nutrients. And, uh, you know, as an example, we'll catch a, a fish on our reef net gear. It will go immediately on slush ice. We'll speed it to our processor uh, where we process it fresh and we'll freeze the fillets and we'll take that row and salt it and turn it into a cura. And all that gets frozen fresh so that when you get it at home, uh, you get to enjoy it just like the day it was caught. Uh, but that row is uh, a powerhouse of, of nutrients. And you know, 20 years ago, I didn't, I didn't know Roe and perhaps didn't even, wouldn't care for it, but uh, it definitely grew on me. And now I can sit there uh, and eat, uh, you know, a whole one pound tray and, and know I'm getting healthier with every bite. <laughs> I can't, I don't know if I could sit down and eat a one pound tray. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I, you know, I, and obviously, like you said, healthier with every bite. And that's, and that's really something spectacular about so much of the good foods that we eat. When you look at that again, and that food is medicine, and every time you take a bite, and every time you give a bite to, to someone who you love, whether it's a spouse or a parent or your children uh, or, or, or even your, your pet, you know, your, your dog, your cat, to be able to eat that kind of absolute superfood, what you're doing to improve the health of, of that of that you know, being is is just spectacular. Now, one thing, you know, again, because people always talk about, yeah, how do we eat the row? And like you said, you can just take it out of the container and, you know, and, and spoon it in. And that's great. And again, and, and, you know, to your point too, every bit of, you know, seafood I've ever had from you guys, again, there is absolutely zero smell. It just comes out like it was just caught five minutes ago. But me, what I like to do is I like to take the row in for breakfast and I'll add it to eggs. So I'll scramble up, say three eggs and I'll add the row on, on top of that. And that's a great way to, uh, to eat it, you know, you can just find so many different ways, you know, again, as, as, as a side, or if you are eating rice, for example, obviously in Asian cultures, they do the roe on time. That's what my first experience with roe uh, was with the, you know, tiny smelt uh, roe, and that would have been on sushi. So again, it goes on top of rice. So however you do it, again, you just got to get it into your body and the health benefits of that are absolutely uh, tremendous. Uh, uh, Allie Richmond has a question. Uh, uh, can you speak to this issue? Uh, quote, I used to live near the Puget Sound on an island not far away from Lummi. Um, and there's concerns again, you know, because we always hear this concerns of, again about, about Fukushima. And what I tell people, Ian, when I hear that, I say, listen, the whole planet is destroyed. The whole planet, unfortunately, and I don't want to sound fatalistic, but polar bears have 200 chemicals in their body. Newborn babies are born with hundreds of chemicals. This is all, you know, from the environmental working group. This is this is well known. I test people's levels of toxic metals, environmental toxins, mold mycotoxins, and everybody has significant levels of all these things. So when people mention Fukushima, again, I understand Fukushima, but again, Fuku anything that happened in Fukushima is all over planet Earth, and the health benefits of eating the best food in the world, the best seafood in the world, far outweigh the risks at this particular time. Would, would you agree? Absolutely, and, and we get this question quite a bit, used to more, but uh, you know, it, it turns out that the concentration of things like that are more of a concern in alpine lakes with grazing animals than they are with wild fish populations. And that said, I don't have some great faith in uh, our future uh, ocean health. I hope we wake up and 
uh, start doing things a little bit differently. Uh, but so far, we're fortunate enough to not see that greatly impacting uh, in the species that we're focused on. And in the edge of Lummi Island, where our reef net fishery is, we're fortunate enough to be on uh, pure waters that are going up to Canada and Alaska. Our region is known for uh, its richness in its, its biome, our Dungeness crab, spot prawns, halibut, wild salmon. Uh, they're a reason, they're prized from our region. It's a rich food web uh, of pure waters and uh, just spectacular that they can come through. Yeah, you know, and, and again, the uh, we test people's toxic metals and people are not getting toxic metals, for example, from eating wild salmon and from uh, the other smaller fish and from eating the shellfish. Now, I think that there is question and certainly cause for concern for very large fish, whether it's shark and swordfish and large sea bass like Chilean sea bass, for example, and, and large tuna. Uh, even in that scenario, I think the benefits outweigh the, the risks. But given the fact that we can do we can get the best of both worlds with Lummi Island uh, salmon and their other products, we're like, we don't need those other large fish. But even the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology reversed their decades long stance of pregnant women not eating seafood because they saw the devastation from low omega threes and other in children who were born to women that were not consuming the seafood. So we want to make sure again that we're doing things in the uh, in, in the best way. And again, I've tested hundreds, if not thousands of people for toxic metals. And again, when you're eating the right foods, you're good. There are some other tunas that are, are billed as low mercury. And I think that those are fine. But again, when you can get all of the tremendous benefits, and Ian's talking about 15% fat content with the highest content of EPA, DHA, you cannot get that from eating uh, walnuts and chia seeds or anything else that only comes from eating seafood. Seafood is the healthiest food on the planet and there's no other discussion uh, whatsoever. Just common sense. You know, Ian, I'm sure you've watched some of these, uh, you know, survival shows and it's like the people who show up on these islands and maybe, you know, they, you know wherever they're put all over the world, those people who are vegans or not really into eating uh, meat or animal products, they quickly switch over because they realize they're not going to they realize they're going to die because no one's giving them uh, bags of oatmeal to shove into their face. You know. Absolutely, Jack. And just adding to what you were saying about uh, clean protein, Lummi Island wild pink salmon are known as uh, one of the cleanest proteins on Earth. And the reasons for that is because of their short uh, life cycle is just a two-year life cycle, so they don't have time to bio accumulate toxins, and they eat low on the food chain. Same with our sockeye, uh, grazers of the sea eating plankton and krill. Uh, my personal favorite, certainly the sockeye, is a couple examples. And we participate with a couple of boats uh, working the uh, edge of northwest waters, even with our tuna fishery. And when we do that, what we are targeting is the smallest fish. And those would typically be not these giant 40 pound fish, but these small 10, 12, 15 pound fish that are eating low on the food chain and quite simply haven't had a chance to bioaccumulate any toxins. Fantastic, fantastic. So again, we're with uh, uh, Ian uh, Kerouac from uh, Lummi Island Seafood. We've teamed up with Ian. He's made a tremendous offer to all of our listeners and everybody at Natural Heart Doctor. He's offering $45 of his uh, king salmon, and it's absolutely for free with your first purchase. What a phenomenal way to introduce you and your family into the products. I definitely recommend grabbing some of his uh, Acura uh, Salmon Roe. It's it's delicious. It's one of nature's superfoods as well. And again, everything else also that uh, Ian's company uh, offer. We have the link on the screen. We've got the discount code there for you. We will email out this information uh, as well. So. Again, uh, and, and uh, my plan certainly is myself and my two boys to get out uh, on the waters with Ian, see how it's done. Stay tuned for, uh, for that. That should be coming up in the next few months. I look forward to that, Ian, meeting you uh, in person and the team and just having a spectacular, you know, learning experience of where our food comes from and uh, showing more appreciation. So, you know, for you and your company. So, again, thank you for, uh, for coming on. 
Absolutely. Uh, and I want to add on that promo, Jack, we've never done such a strong promo. That's an exclusive to Natural Heart Doctor um, and everybody here. Um, recently, we've also introduced uh, an easy way for folks to commit to their health, our Lummy Yummy Box. It's a brand new subscription that's available either monthly or bi-monthly. Uh, follow the link below and go to our subscription category. You can see those. Again, that uh, promo code for $45 worth of King Salmon uh, is, uh, you can use that on anything, order anything, and we're going to uh, get that for you. So really, really great to be uh, a part of this and, and appreciate uh, folks supporting uh, truly sustainable fishing and really appreciating uh, what wild salmon can be. You know, so again, you may find cheaper salmon somewhere, you definitely will, but you'll never find any better salmon. Food is medicine, let, let food be the medicine, let medicine be thy food. And again, to be able to do, you know, support people who do it the right way. And that's what we're all about here at Natural Heart Doctor. We appreciate all of you. We appreciate all of your support. And uh, again, I'm Dr. Jack Wolfson, cardiologist, natural heart doctor. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful start to uh, your week. And we will catch you next time with another fantastic guest and all about helping you achieve the 100-year heart. Be well.